Um, my two passions are really bringing people together and getting people running. So I set up um, Run Redbourne in May 2016 um, and really I was inspired by my friend um, and she'd found a great deal of positivity through running so she um, set up a little run group um, after she'd lost her second baby um, and she found so much positivity through it. She called it the positive -a and she got us all up and running every day um, for a month um, to raise money um, for her charity. Um, and as we were doing that, um, we saw people out running in the village. Redbourne's a really active village, there's people everywhere. We were just kind of thinking, well, wouldn't it be great to have more of a running community for Redbourne? Um, and I really wanted to share some of that positivity that she had given to me because she'd persuaded me to come out running um, after our second son was born and he was um, critically ill. Um, and she got me out running and I'd always run, so I'd never really thought about running with people and for a purpose before and I really understood then you know what you can find from being out in a group chatting to people while you run and just being in the fresh air so the idea was to create a running community and a running group that fitted in around people's needs um, so not the classic kind of running group where you run twice a week more just loads and loads of different opportunities for people to just get out um, but also be with someone else and I think that's the thing having some kind of accountability we've realized is a real way to get people out there because as much as I love running um, if I'm not going out with someone else um, it's quite a challenge <laughs> I need to know that someone's going to you know need me to be there um, and that's really improved my running as well um, to be honest um, so yeah that's it's just grown and grown from there I think we've got about 500 people now on our Facebook group um, we attracted people from outside Redbourne so uh, all the surrounding areas um, and I think they like to come out and run with us because it's a, a friendly running group and really inclusive um, yeah. we've got 15 run leaders um, now um, and it really is them who make um, Run Redbourne work and so special. Each one brings something different to the um, running group. Um, and I'm just so grateful because without them, we probably still only have our one Sunday night run um, a week. So yeah, a big thank you to them. This is really about um, how do we target people who are not already active um, and get them up and active. And we're so lucky to live in Redbourne and have the beautiful common. Um, and we measured it out and it is just under a mile. Um, so we thought, wouldn't it be great to make that a more permanent feature around the common and call it the Redbourne Mile, um, slightly after the initiative of the Daily Mile, which the schools are all doing. And we thought that'd be something to really bring people together um, and have a specific set place where they can come out and walk round or run round. The idea is that we'll mark out the common with markers to make it really motivating for people to get to each point. Um, so we'll have 10 um, markers so that people can try and either go a bit further each time or go a little bit quicker um, or ask other people to join them and do, um, do more activity. So I guess one of the other passions is really getting people active um, and improving their physical health but also you know the importance of mental health is, is so important and getting people active and that's something that we're really trying to focus on in Active in Redbourne. Well, um, funnily, my mum um, is also a runner. Um, she's on for her 450th park run at, um, at about the age of 70. She's planning how many she can do before 80 and 90 and 100. And she didn't start running until she was 50. Um, and from there, she's done two or three marathons, countless half marathons, and does not miss a park run um, every single weekend, apart from in the current climate. <laughs> I think she definitely runs a lot more than me. She, I think she's probably a lot more of an inspiration than I am, to be honest. But yeah, it's great to have her around. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. Um, yes, um, I'm sure I'm not the most inspirational person, but... Um, I think, you know, one thing I have done is make things happen. Um, so hopefully that inspires other people to do things as well um, and to get up and be active. And that's always been what we try to do with Run Redbourne is to get people together, get them more active, um, but just enjoying life really. Um, particularly, you know, in bad times, running or walking with other people is one of the best things that you can do really. So don't run with anyone else at the moment. <laughs>